Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel. I'm so excited to be here today. I'm Dr. Nasser PGY3 internal medicine, soon to be hospice in the state of Florida. I'm currently active on YouTube about two months. And I think, uh, of course, our my YouTube channel, AI and medicine and all these things, our world is moving to an AI driven kind of world. But we need to really be talking about our natural intelligence. And I'm going to talk about what this natural intelligence is and why it is superior to AI intelligence. We've solved problems. We've all done that where the answer that we came up with was not have been imagined by anyone. Else. This is our natural human intelligence. And so we have this very extraordinary tool that we can use every day. And that's our human mind. And we should not be taking it for granted. No algorithm has truly replicated what we have. And that is our greatest advantage. So the human edge. What makes us unique? While AI can process a lot of data very fast, our human intelligence shines really with creativity, okay? emotional understanding, adaptability, and ethical judgment. AI is a master of repetition, pattern recognition, training on data. But we are the masters of unexpected. We do seriously have a human advantage. Next, let's talk about our creativity. It is our power to imagine original thinking. We can remix, AI can remix what's already out there, but only humans can dream up something truly new. I'll show you the pictures up here. As you can see, these are all AI driven images. However, I guarantee you they are driven from prior human works of art. And none of these are truly AI generated. If imaginative leaps Think of Einstein's thought experiments. Think of Picasso's cubism. They weren't data driven, but imaginative leaps that really changed the world. So emotional intelligence would be the next thing that is very important. It is the heart of connection, living emotions. We don't just process emotions. We may not be able to get an 84% on an emotional intelligence test, but we don't just process. We live them. We use our emotional intelligence to empathize, to collaborate, to build a trust. Human beings are currently dealing and talking to and communicating with a lot of AI tools and machines. But really, how much trust can you build with a machine that only processes emotions, not really lives them? True care for, our, for us as doctors, healthcare providers. The difference between treating a disease and really caring for a person, that really comes down to emotional intelligence. That's something that AI cannot provide. Next, adaptability, thriving in critical conditions and chaos. Just remember COVID, what happened during COVID-19 response? Doctors, scientists, pharmacists worldwide, they rapidly adapted to protocols and repurposed treatments for a specific virus that was taking over the world. We collaborated across borders to save lives. AI system struggle with unprecedented data that did not match their training. The human advantage, whether it's a crisis, whether it's a new culture, a, care, a, a carrier pivot, we adapt and we innovate. Moral judgment. This would be the fourth important one. Navigating the gray areas, a lot of ethical consideration in everyday life. Interpreting rules. We interpret the rules and weigh values in complex situations. Medical ethics, thinking about the moral compass. We have a moral compass that is essential in medicine when there's rarely a clear cut answer. And a lot of times in medicine, there is a rarely a clear cut answer. The legal judgment. Our judgment navigates those complex legal situations beyond just algorithms that AI tools can practice on. Leadership, really ethical decision making is a big part of leadership roles. Now, let's talk about some solutions. How can you strengthen your natural intelligence or human intelligence? I have looked up a lot of things that have shown evidence based that have shown to boost human intelligence. I'm going to tell you and I'll tell you my own personal experiences as well. Sleeping. OK, prioritize your sleep, guys. Sleep is essential for memory consolidation and learning. Even mild sleep loss can impair working memory. So many scientific experiments in the, throughout 
the life of human beings that have shown people who have gone without sleep have even gone down to approaching death and increasing mortality. So very important. Sleep is a very important pivot for your intelligence. Exercise regularly. I cannot tell you how many times when I was when I came up with an idea, an innovative, creative idea, it was after I had done and gone through a physical activity, whether it was running, hiking, biking, doing lifting, really some of the best ideas I've ever had have been created after an exercise. Ensuring that you keep learning, don't stop learning. Our minds have shown that they continue to develop our neuroplastic minds, our neurons and networks in our brain continuously develop and get better. When you take up new hobbies, when you listen to new podcasts, attend different workshops, things that you don't listen to regularly, the brain learns. Read widely, read things that stimulate your brain, things again, that help you build connections, improve your comprehension and reasoning, things that you would not have read if you didn't stop along with something. Pick up that good habit of reading, meditating. If you have, if you can go on a walk with a beautiful scenery, find a lake, find a land, a beautiful open land, find a body of water, sit there, become self-aware of 10, 15 minutes, focus even on your patio. If you have some small little garden, you can sit out there and really meditate create something really i highly recommend you guys to start a blog start a youtube channel an art project create content when you create content that really forces you to think outside of the box that really sparks that innovation i can't tell you since the last two months that i started youtube and my creativity has gone on way more i've been daily and day out keeps my mind busy which is interesting to say as a doctor because you already have a lot of th things to do as a doctor but you also have other aspects. Your brain is able to handle a lot more than you think. So creating things and innovation itself have shown to improve human natural intelligence. Playing an instrument, guys. I may not have put in my bio, but I have been playing piano and the keyboard since the age of 10. Moved on to play the guitar. Moved on to play the drums recently. And really, every time I pick up these new instruments, I can see how stimulative these learning experiences are is that playing the instruments or even learning a new language has shown to improve memory coordination pattern recognition and practice your emotional intelligence that means you will need to interact with others you need to expose yourself to social environments to seek feedback practice that empathy empathy is different from sympathy i highly recommend you look on, up on that sympathy is completely different you sympathize with somebody over something but when you empathize you really put yourself in their shoes journaling mindful communication that really helps with that portion of emotional intelligence and lastly stay adaptable when change happens embrace it try that new experience step outside of your comfort zone i can't tell you when ai started becoming very prevalent in medicine there's a lot of fear of this new tool how's it going to change i don't want to change the way i'm working but really for me i saw it as an opportunity to learn a lot of things that I may not have learned without this new world of AI. It made me have to adapt to that change. I'll tell you for me again, adaptation could be immigration. I've immigrated two to three times in my life. And every time I've immigrated to a new place, new country, I have learned a lot from that whole process. So just really your competitive edge. Remember your unique creative perspective, your empathy, your emotional intelligence, build on it. Adaptability. Remember, you can nav navigate through change. Your moral reasoning. Think about your ethical judgment in complex situations. As AI continues to handle more of our routine tasks, which is what it should be doing, our human skills, the creativity, the empathy, the adaptability, the moral reasoning, they become more and more valuable, more than ever. So invest in these qualities, guys. Our mind is not just intelligence. It's irreplaceably, beautifully human. And that's exactly what the, our world needs right now. So finally, choose one habit, pick a habit, go for a walk, read a chapter, reflect on your day, share it with a friend, family member, or if you'd like to share it on our video in the comment section, keep yourself accountable, be consistent, take small steps, do them consistently, and that will keep your intelligence sharp in our world of smart machines that are appearing day in and day out. Let's make sure that our minds stay extraordinary. 
So if you stayed till the end of this video, I really thank you so much, guys. Your likes, your comments, your subscriptions will go a long way. Not only for the channel to be seen by others, but also our community to be built. And really, we are what we listen to and what we work on. And so our community of AI and medicine can only grow. And this way, we are able to stay on top of all the changes that are happening. If you like the board content, thank you so much for listening. Let me know what other topics you'd like to know. If you would like me to do more topics like this in everyday life, let me know. And it will be my pleasure to do that again. It's not a sponsored video. Just for your information and educational reasons, this is a Gamma AI presentation that I've created based on my own ideas and scripts and things. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget. And if you need to access any of the notes for anything, like the board review materials or any AI tools that I've broken down and you want to take a look at a summary of things, don't forget to subscribe to that Patreon channel. I make a lot of the notes free. If you do want to donate to me there, I appreciate that as well. Without further ado, I'll see you on the next video.